My dear brothers and sisters, mga hinigug madiha ni Kristo. Today is the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. We believe that there is only one God in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Every time we start our prayer, we invoke the Blessed Trinity. And we also end our prayer in the same manner. It is a wonderful practice and expression of our profound faith and adoration to the Triune God. The doctrine of the Blessed Trinity is one of the deepest mysteries of our Catholic faith. It is difficult to explain when we only make use of analogies and when we compare it to our human experiences and realities. All our attempts to expound and illustrate it fall short of so great a mystery. That is why many spiritual writers would rather suggest that instead of trying to grasp and understand the Trinity, we should rather do our best to live and model our lives in the Trinity. Father Ron Rollheiser, O.M.I., a great spiritual writer of the present time, writes, quote, God, by definition, is ineffable, beyond conceptualization, beyond imagination, beyond language. The Christian belief that God is a trinity helps underscore how rich the mystery of God is and how our experience of God is always richer than our concepts and language about God." Unquote. I am sure that you will agree with me when I say that our deepest and most personal religious experience about God is beyond explanation and expression. It is only the heart that loves who could understand and relish such a profound encounter. Since we are currently reflecting on our journey as a synodal church, let us then reflect on the three pillars of a synodal church vis-a-vis -vis the Blessed Trinity. The first pillar is communion. The Vadimekum or handbook for the synod on synodality, particularly for the listening and discernment in local churches states, and I quote, By His gracious will, God gathers us together as diverse peoples of one faith through the covenant that He offers to His people. The communion we share finds its deepest roots in the love and unity of the Trinity. It is Christ who reconciles us to the Father and unites us with each other in the Holy Spirit." Unquote. The second pillar is participation. It is a call for the involvement of all who belong to the people of God, laity, consecrated, and ordained, to engage in the process of listening and discerning together. Everyone is exhorted to serve the community and to contribute whatever gifts they have that would benefit all. This brings about complementarity and mutual support. The inclusion of our brothers and sisters in the peripheries and those who feel excluded is highly encouraged. Again, we take as our model the participation in the life of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit participating in each other's divine life. 
The third pillar is mission. The Father, the Creator, sent His only Son, or only begotten Son, Jesus, to redeem us and the Holy Spirit to sanctify us. The mandate comes from our Lord Jesus Christ who said, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. And what? Matthew 28, 19-20. A synodal church is a church with a mission. It is an evangelizing church. It does not exist for itself. Rather, it is a church who reaches out to others in love and service. Our mission continues until the end of the age because the Trinity is with us. Again, we say it is a mission of love and service, of communion, participation, and mission. Whenever we love our brothers and sisters with a genuine love, like that of the Good Samaritan, whenever we serve with joy and fidelity, then we mirror the life of the Blessed Trinity. The doctrine of the Blessed Trinity might be difficult for us to grasp, but when we live in harmony, when there is unity in our family or in our community, despite the diversity of personalities, gifts and talents, we experience and we witness to the love of the Blessed Trinity. Let us adore the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.